All right, so I'm gonna be showing you every single loadout, every single attachment on every single gun in the game. But first I wanna get some things out of the way. Also for the attachments, I did go into the shooting range and test out every single gun and tested out which attachments work the best. So that's the reasons why I'm choosing those attachments. And second off, there's a few things in this game that are preference. And there's two main things that are like really preference. And what that is gonna be is laser in your sight. So for laser, some people run laser on every single gun. Some people run laser on no guns. Some people run lasers only on a for me, I'm the type of person to run laser on every single gun. The only drawback to it is the enemy can see your laser, but I feel like you get more kills because of your laser rather than dying because of your laser. So in my opinion, I put it on, but you can test it out and if you think you're getting killed because of it, then you know, take it off. Next thing is your sight. For me, I run ACOG on every single gun that I can that has an ACOG, and if it doesn't have an ACOG, then I run Hollow A. Um, between the ACOGs, I just kind of feel out and you know, choose whatever one that I like for that gun or whatever. So for this gun, I like to choose magnified A, but some other guns I like to run magnified B. So yeah, let's actually get into the actual first operator. It's going to be sledge. First thing, your primary weapon, choose the L8. Your secondary weapon, obviously I have to choose the pistol. And then for your secondary gadget, choose the frag grenades. The next thing you wanna worry about is your attachments. And for the L8, I chose compensator and horizontal grip. For the pistol, this is every single pistol, almost every single pistol in the game. I choose suppressor and laser. And the reason why you wanna go compensator and horizontal is because compensator, this gun kind of bounces left and right. It sways a little bit to the left. So to counteract that, I went with the compensator. And this thing already has such little recoil. I just choose the horizontal grip. And horizontal grip is very useful. You can get an extra speed boost. And especially with operator like Sledge, who is on one speed, you're basically going up to like a two speed with that. And your gun already has such little recoil. You don't really need a vertical grip on. And I did go into the shooting range and test out every single attachment. So that's the reason why I think compensator is the best. I tested muzzle brake, flash height, or whatever. And compensator was the best in my test. For the pistol suppressor, um, there's no reason not to run suppressor on most pistols unless the pistol has a lot of recoil, which this pistol has like no recoil. So you might as well run the suppressor and the laser. Like I said, I run laser on every single gun. So for your secondary gadget, to be honest, Sledge has three really good ones. Uh, stuns are pretty good. Frags are really good. Impact MPs are really good. I would never really choose stuns just because frag grenades play the role of basically flushing an enemy out. You basically can throw one in an area and they have to move or you can basically throw one in an area and you know that no one is swing there or you can clear utility. Those are the three uses for a frag grenade. The stun grenade is to usually burn ADSs or Wamais or to flush somebody out of an area. So basically play the same thing, but frag grenades you can destroy utility with. So that's why I like to use frag grenades. And also when you're playing vertical, you can just throw nades into sight. Impact EMPs, um, I would never really run these on Sledge just because they're, they are really good, but on Sledge, his ability doesn't really play into them. You're not gonna wanna be helping the wall and then running upstairs, setting up flank cams, doing all this different thing to play vertical. Um, you're just wasting time going and helping your team for the wall. You could run any other operator. I think he probably is the worst operator that has impacts just because it doesn't really help his ability that much. Definitely run frags in my opinion. And yeah, that's Sledge. The next operator is Thatcher. Now Thatcher is a little bit different because uh, he has two different ARs that you could choose from. In my experience, L8 is better. And then obviously I have to choose the pistol and then Claymore. For the attachments for the L8, I choose the same exact attachments, obviously. For the attachments on the pistol, same exact attachments. And yeah, same reasons for the attachments, you know, left and right recoil. There is no recoil on the gun, so I would choose horizontal. But in terms of choosing the AR or the L8, some people will choose the AR. It has barely any recoil. And if you do want to choose the AR, then I would recommend these attachments. Uh, these, these are the attachments I would go with right here compensator horizontal um, because it has low recoil just like the l8 the l8 does kill a lot faster it has a lot more damage it can three shot most defenders i'm pretty sure it can just three shot all defenders unless they have rook armor on but you should never be choosing shotguns on attack except for like super specific strategies where you know you're going to be like right up on somebody if you're like rushing into the site because you can't really get the advantage that you would on defense because you can't set up the site with it there's no real advantage on it for attack so and yeah same reasons for the pistol might as well run suppressor so yeah, Claymore versus Breach Charge. In my opinion, just run Claymore. You can put them up and you won't get ran out on because most of the time when you're going for a wall, people will try to run out on you. And obviously Thatcher is really made for getting up in the wall. And plus, most of the time, you're not gonna wanna be soft breaching with Thatcher. Um, you're never gonna really wanna be playing vertical, opening up walls and stuff like that. You mainly just wanna stay alive, try to help your team get up in the wall. But the next operator is Ash. Now Ash, um, she has two primary ARs. Uh, the one that I would choose is the R4C. Then for the pistols, she has two pistols that are pretty decent. 
I would just choose the M45. And for breach charges versus claymores, uh, kind of both are viable, but most of the time I'll choose breach charge. For your attachments, for the R4C, uh, I run extended barrel and vertical grip. And for the uh, pistol, I run suppressor and laser. The reason why you want to go for R4C, in my opinion, it just kills faster. Obviously, the G36 has less recoil, quote unquote, but the thing actually kicks hard now since the recoil update um it doesn't have a lot of vertical but it bounces literally it goes left right left right left right so i don't like this it's one of the hardest guns for me to control just because it's so like bouncy so i like to run the r4c it's pretty all right to control and if you can't really control it then i'd go flash hider but for me i'm going extended barrel and obviously vert grip you know there's no reason to run horizontal it's already ash and yeah just help with the recoil if you were going to run the g36 uh here's the attachments i would run um extended barrel vertical grip if you don't want to run extended barrel try on the compensator for the pistol i like higher damage pistols i used to run this one just because how many bullets it has it has 20 bullets which is a lot for a pistol um it takes like two to three bullets to kill people most of the time with this thing when you like pull it out most of the time you already done a little bit of damage with your ar and then you just like pull out your pistol to finish them off pause but but i rather have a higher damage gun in terms of this pistol just so i can have a high chance of one or two shotting them for breaching charges versus claymore um if you want to play vertical which are breaching charges a lot of people don't use breaching charges for vertical play but they're really good and you can just use them on normal walls just more it's basically your ability but just a little bit worse with ash but for claymores um claymores are pretty good it just doesn't fit ash as much if you want to run claymores then go ahead if you don't really use breaching charges then go for claymores but i like breaching charges the next operator is thermite um one of my main operators but thermite you want to choose the 556 um the muzak i don't know why i had that pistol equipped really kind of depends on either one of these but most of the time i'd be running smokes so for the attachments uh choose compensator that one's the best one has a little bit of you know left and right recoil and doesn't really go up that much in terms of recoil and then i choose vert grip um horizontal is pretty viable but i just rather choose vert grip on this specific gun uh for your muzak obviously suppress your laser then for your smoke grenades um or versus stun grenades for if you're gonna be you know trying to be more of a fragging role with thermite then obviously run stuns but a lot of times you can get a plan off with thermite if you run smokes so depending on what you're doing and same reasoning for the pistol as ash obviously you want more damage in most cases so you can actually one to two shot them after you shot them a few times with your ar or whatever and thermite's gun is a high damaging ar it's gonna three shot most operators so you know most of the time you should be able to kill them in one bullet with this pistol and yeah that's really all for thermite the next operator is twitch for twitch um i run the f2 you could run the 417 if you're not good with uh, recoil control or you just like DMRs. And for the secondary gadget, I run Smoke Grenade. Claymore is also good, but I'll get into that. So for the F2 attachments, I run Flash Hider. I've tested out Compensator, Muzzle Brake, Extended Barrel, everything. There's no reason to run anything else. This gun already kills so fast. It, it has decent damage, really fast fire rate. There's no real reason to run Extended Barrel on it. Why not help yourself and go Flash Hider and just aim for the head better this is one of the most recoil guns in the game especially for an ar so there's no reason to try to you know run extended barrel if you want to run the 417 this is the attachments i would recommend muzzle break and horizontal grip that's what i do every single dmr is muzzle break horizontal grip because they have like no recoil already so horizontal grip so for the extra speed and yeah muzzle break because it's a dmr and those help a lot with dmrs and also you got to keep in mind the 417 is the best dmr in the game in my opinion so if you're not good at controlling recoil go with the 417 for the pistols obviously suppressor laser and uh this this revolver is pretty bad so i wouldn't run this it does high damage but it's kind of hard to hit shots especially with six bullets and it has pretty good recoil and the p9 is a all right pistol you know it's kind of average but gets the job done a lot of times for a secondary gadget claymore versus smoke a lot of times with claymore versus smoke it just depends on what you're doing uh if you're gonna try to go for a plant or try to help glass whatever you want to do Whenever you're going to use a smoke grenade, then run smoke grenade. Any other case, run claymore because you're on your drone a lot of the time. So people might try to run out on you. Having a claymore would help with that. The next operator is a Monty. So Monty, I run this pistol, the P9, 
and I run smoke grenades, but you really could run uh, EMPs or hard breach, but yeah. So for the pistol attachments, laser and suppressor, that's really all. I, uh, in terms of picking this, once again, this pistol is kind of bad because it has six bullets and it has high recoil. It's pretty hard to hit shots with it. it has high damage, but you're not going to hit as many shots with that versus this. And for your secondary gadget on Monty, I would most of the time run impacts or smokes. Smokes are really good with Monty because you can Monty plant, which means just turn your back to the defenders and stick a plant and it's really hard for them to shoot you impact dmps helps a lot with the open up the wall getting right a bandit or a kid or a mute or whatever so if you need if you know you're gonna need to do that then obviously run impacts but yeah to be honest flip-flop between those hard breaches uh with monty you should have your shield up most of the time there's no real reason to run these because you don't want to put your shield down to put down a hard breach most of the time so the next operator is glass and for glass you obviously have to choose his normal dmr sniper thing for a secondary i choose the bearing nine and for his secondary gadget i choose the smoke grenades so for the attachments on this gun um muzzle brake horizontal grip it doesn't have that much recoil but if you're having trouble controlling it you could definitely run vertical it has some of the most recoil out of all the dmrs so but i still like to run horizontal grip it makes them like super fast for the scope this is one of the only instances i'll be talking about the scope it's because i run red dot c the difference between Glass is because his scope is different. When he puts on his ability scope, it changes your actual scope. So I'd rather have a red dot when I put my ability on rather than uh, like a hollow scope. It just looks a little bit better with Glass. For your secondary, Bearing 9 is a really good gun. It kills really, really fast. It does have a decent amount of recoil for newer players, but once you get used to it, you're going to be really good with it. For the attachments, Flash Hider just helps with the recoil. You could definitely run the Gone 6 to destroy some utility or whatever, but for me, the Bearing 9 is just really good. And for your secondary gadget, Smoke Grenades or Frag Grenades, Frag grenades obviously help with destroying utility and stuff like that. And if you can get your teammates to run smoke grenades for you, then you can basically run frag grenades so you can actually destroy more utility with it. So yeah, but if you're in a solo queue game or whatever, uh, run smoke grenades. The next operator is Fuse. Fuse, you want to choose the AK-12, one of the best guns in the game, the PMM, and um, kind of swap between these, to be honest. They're all really good, but most of the time I'd probably run breaching charge. So for the attachments, I run flash hider vert grip for the attachments on the pistol, suppressor, laser. And for your secondary gadget, to be honest, um, it really depends on what you're doing. If you're going to try to go for a plant or something like that, uh, if you're trying to help glass, whatever situation where you would need a smoke grenade, then you could definitely run smoke grenade. But a lot of times you're going to be above the site, fusing above the site, trying to destroy utility, maybe get a kill somehow. Um, so breaching charges to help open up some vert while you're at it can be really good. Also, same exact situation you're playing above the site having a hard breach to open up hatches is really useful so either one that way you're going to do if there's a hatch above you could run hard breach if you're just going to want to be opening up vert then breach charge and for the attachments on ak-12 um i don't recommend running suppressor on literally anything i don't run it on anything i just i'd rather have a gun i'd rather have my gun be louder because in siege most of the time the opponent's gonna know generally where you are anyways so unless you're trying to do some like sneaky strat then i don't really see the point of it and also you can't really conceal your sound cues as well with a suppressor on so i run flash hider uh this gun has barely any left and right recoil so there's no reason to run like compensator and yeah the next operator is blitz um, Blitz, obviously, only thing that you have to choose from is the secondary gadget, and I choose smoke grenades, but sometimes you could run breach charges depending on what you're doing. For your attachment for your pistol, I run suppressor and laser. And between smoke grenades and breaching charges, to be honest, it's just really whatever you're doing. If you want to go for a plant or something like that, run smokes. Or if you want to try to run through the smoke um, to try to like mask yourself, basically, because you can throw down a smoke maybe on the bottom of a staircase run down the staircase, catch an opponent off guard, melee him, and it'd be a free kill. Or you could use breaching charges to try to open up walls, vert, whatever, whatever situation you would use breaching charges in. But most of the time I would run smoke on blitz. But that leads me to the next operator and it's going to be IQ. So she has three primary weapons and to be honest, all of them are kind of viable, but the one that I would choose is 5.52 Commando. Obviously you have to choose her pistol. 
and then I would choose frag grenades. For the attachments for the 552, I choose extended barrel vertical grip. For the GA, I choose compensator and horizontal grip. For the AUG, I choose flash hider. For the pistol, obviously suppressor laser. And in terms of, you know, her secondary gadgets, to be honest, all of them are pretty good. It just depends on really what you're doing. The two that I would most of the time run are frag grenades or breaching charges. Uh, most of the time frag grenades because it kind of works well with her ability. You know, you can spot a gadget and then destroy it with her nades. But if you want to do some vertical play, you know, open up the floor above and then shoot gadgets or whatever, then you could. But most of the time, I would recommend just using the frag grenades. And in terms of her primary weapon, most of the time, I'm just going to say choose the 552 Commando. But some people, if you want less recoil, then you could go with the G8. But the 552 Commando is a really high damage, really fast killing AR. So that's why I choose it. And plus, it doesn't have that much recoil. So yeah, just overall really good weapon. I would never recommend choosing the AUG, but mainly choose the G8 or the 552. And like I said, I would choose the 552. The next operator we're going to be going over is Buck. Now for his primary weapon, both are really good. But I would most of the time choose the C8. For his secondary, choose a Gone 6. And both of his secondary gadgets are really good, but it just depends on what you're doing. I'll talk about that later. But for the attachments for the C8, you wanna choose extended barrel. Obviously, no attachments for the Gone 6. And for your secondary gadget, depends on what you're doing. If you wanna play more aggressive, flush enemies out, go for kills, whatever, then you can choose the stun grenades. If you're going to be playing above the site, playing vertical, and you want to get a hatch open, then you can choose hard breaches. So it's really whatever you're doing, which is most of the time what secondary gadgets are going to be about. It's like whatever you're trying to do. But uh, yeah. And in terms of if you should choose the DMR or the AR, it's this is a really good DMR. But the problem is, is his AR is one of the best in the game. It's top five best guns in the game, in my opinion. You know, the DMR is really good, but most of the time I would choose the AR. But if you're really good with DMRs, then this is a very good pick because it's probably the second best DMR in the game. But the next operator we have is Blackbeard. Now for Blackbeard, a lot of people choose his AR, but his AR, in my opinion, is the worst AR in the entire game. It shoots super slow, doesn't even do that much damage, medium recoil, low capacity, just overall horrible gun and his dmr is also pretty bad it's one of the worst in the game as well but it's still better than his ar it's still going to two to three shot most operators really good damage drop off so in my opinion the dmr is better obviously you have to choose the deagle and then for his secondary gadgets all of them are pretty good um i would choose stuns or frag grenades most of the time you know you can destroy utility especially when you're on repel with blackbeard having a nade is really good but um stuns are also very useful for burning ads's and one mines so whatever you want to do. But for the attachments on the DMR, you want to choose muzzle brake and horizontal grip. It's going to have a lower recoil and you're going to get extra speed boost with the horizontal grip. If you want to choose the AR, then this is the attachments I would recommend. Extended barrel, vertical grip. Um, I wouldn't recommend running suppressor on this gun just because this is one of the more recoil heavy uh, pistols in the game. So I just recommend muzzle brake. And yeah, for the next operator, we have Capital. So Capital has two really good primaries and it's there's so it's so close between these two guns i'll talk about this later but most of the time i would choose the lmg in terms of a secondary choose the gun six and for a secondary gadget all of them are viable so really whatever you're trying to do a lot of the time hard breach is very useful but also a lot of the time impact dmps are useful so you can help your teammates open up the wall and then use your smokes and fires to try to go for a plant so that's what i have equipped that's what i use most of the time for capital but in terms of his attachments for both of his primary weapons for the LMG, you want to choose muzzle brake, vertical grip. Um, I tested it out. Muzzle brake was the best. It has pretty much no recoil with these attachments on. So it's a laser with a hundred bullets in a clip. So with a hundred bullets in a magazine, it's just going to be, it's, it's pretty crazy. And then you have his para. This AR is one of the best guns in the game just because it has a 52 damage. Now, 52 damage means it's going to two shot, three speed operators, meaning bandit, alibi, vigil, those type of operators are going to get two shot by this gun. And for the attachments, I would run extended barrel and vertical grip. And so you might be thinking, okay, it can two shot um, three speed operators, then you should probably run it. Well, this gun is also very good because it has a hundred bullets in it. It kills really fast for, you know, just an average gun and it has no recoil. So a lot of the time, especially on Capital, I run his LMG just so you can just create cover fire. You know, just you can just hold angles with this and just spray and you don't really need to worry about anything. And most of the time I would run the LMG. But the next operator we have is Habana. She has a really good, this is one of the best shotguns in the game, but run her AR. Secondary, run the bearing nine. And for her secondary gadget, to be honest, both are pretty good. 
Um, but most of the time I'd run stuns on Habana. Her, for attachments on her main AR, I would run compensator and vertical grip. I tested it out. This is the best. This has a decent amount of left and right sway. So that's why I want the compensator. For the bearing nine, you want to run flash hider um, just to help with the recoil. Really high recoil gun, but it kills really fast. So there's no reason to run extended barrel on it. And between our secondary gadgets, um, to be honest, the breaching charges, if you want to play vertical out there, you can, but it's kind of risky because you can get C4 pretty easily. So I would just run stuns on her most of the time. But the next operator we have is Jackal. Now Jackal has two really good guns in the PDW and the C7E, but this is kind of the same situation as Capital because the C7E is a top five AR in my opinion, but his PDW is also really good because it has full 50 bullets in it and it has low recoil so if you want to you know just like spam bullets at people then the pdw is better but the c7e does kill faster and it has like less recoil but for his secondary you want to run the shotgun this helps obviously secondary shotguns are really good compared to pistols and for a secondary gadget between smokes and claymores it's really whatever you're trying to do a lot of the time smokes is really good so i'd run that most of the time but claymores um just depending on what you're doing if you think you're going to get ran out on or if you think you're gonna get flanked, whatever, then you could run claymores. But I, I like to run smokes a lot of the times. And for the attachments on the C7E, you wanna run compensator vertical grip. And then for the attachments on the PDW, you wanna run extended barrel vertical grip. And yeah, the next operator we have is Ying. Now for Ying, you wanna choose her LMG, obviously the pistol, and then between smokes and hard breaches, most of the time I would run smokes. For attachments for her AR, you wanna run compensator vertical grip. This thing bounces left to right a lot, so the compensator helps a lot with that. For the pistol, Obviously, you know, run suppressor and laser. And the reason why you want to choose smokes is because you can help glass with them first off. Ying and glass is a very good combo. And second off, if you're going for a plant, you can just spam yings and smoke into the site and then you can get a free plant a lot of the times. So that's why I run smokes on ying. And she has one of the best LMGs in the game just because it has 80 bullets, which is really good. Very low recoil, pretty high damage, uh, medium fire rate. So it's just very good gun overall so and yeah that's our loadout the next operator is zofia now zofia is one of the more controversial ones kind of i do like to run the lmg the lmg's just got you know changed the recoils a little bit better so i run the lmg i'll go over you know the pros and cons of each gun so if you want to choose the ar you could but i'll do that later for her pistol uh suppressor laser like always for her secondary gadget most of the time i would run breach charge just because it's just basically like an extended version of your you know your ability so instead of having two soft breaching for your ability basically have like five just an overall strong secondary gadget so yeah and for her attachments on her lmg i run compensator vertical grip for the attachments on the ar i run the flash hider and the vertical grip like if you just go into the shooting range and test out the lmg with the compensator on it is pretty easy to control like not not easy to control but it's very manageable and the thing is about her ar it's actually very hard to control it it moves left and right a lot it's bouncing it does kill slightly faster than lmg but and most of the times when you have 150 bullets you can kill multiple you can kill the whole team without ever reloading so that is a very strong thing to have so since the recoil update, I think the LMG is a little bit better. But the next operator we have is Dokabi. So for Dokabi, you want to choose her DMR, and then you want to choose the SMG-12, and then you want to choose stuns. Now, I'll go back over the secondary gadget because she has three really good ones, but for now, I'd say stuns. So for her attachments on her DMR, muzzle brake horizontal, and then this scope is the scope I run on most DMRs. Um, some I don't, but yeah. For her SMG-12, obviously, just vertical grip. Don't try to run anything else. And one thing I will say, some people disagree with this. They like to run the Gun 6 or maybe even this. The SMG-12 is one of my favorite guns to use in the entire game. It kills really fast. It has a good magazine size. And yeah, it's just it helps out because your DMR is obviously a high range, high magnification scope on it. So a lot of the times I like to get up close and personal with SMG-12. Um, and I really don't like this gun right here. And so yeah, that's why the reason why I run the SMG-12. For her secondary gadgets, she has three really good ones. And this is why I think, you know, Dokabi is a very versatile operator because you can go for a smoke plant with her. You can play aggressive with stuns. You can play helping the wall with the impact MPs. There's no other operator that can really do as much as Dokabi can because you can roam clear, play aggressive, be a fragger, help with the plant, help with the wall. You can do so many different things with her. So really, she's one of the operators where in the beginning of the round, think about what you're doing and then change your secondary gadget depending on what you're gonna wanna do. But the next operator we have is Lion. Now for Lion, and my game crashes, woo! 
Now for Lion, to be honest, Lion kind of fell off for me. He used to be literally my favorite operator in the game. But in terms of his loadout, that's what I've been talking about. I feel like most of the time, I'm just going to run the DM. I mean, I'm just going to run the AR because I just like ARs more than DMRs. But the 417, in my opinion, is the best DMR in the game. So I would also understand if you want to do that. Next thing is his pistol, choose the P9. And for his secondary gadget, choose the frag grenades. So for the attachments for his AR, you want to choose compensator, vertical grip. For his DMR, muzzle brake, horizontal grip. And yeah, for the pistol, you want to choose suppressor laser. And for a secondary gadget, um, to go more over this, stuns, once again, very good. Because you can burn utility. I mean, you can burn Jaegers and you can burn Wamai's. Frags, you can flush people out of areas just like stuns. You can destroy utility. Claymores, I wouldn't really run that on Lion. Yeah, these two, really good options, but I run frag grenades most of the time. But the next operator we have is Finca. Finca, once again, she has an LMG and an AR. The LMG actually, in my opinion, has about the same recoil as the AR, but it has 100 bullets in a clip and it kills slightly slower. So it's very similar to Zofia. So I choose the LMG, I choose the PMM, and I choose frag grenades. For the attachments for the LMG, you wanna choose compensator, vertical grip. For the AR, you wanna choose extended barrel, vertical grip. Between the AR and the LMG, to be honest, very similar in recoil, just in my opinion, the LMG is going to be more beneficial with 100 bullets and a clip. For her secondary gadget, um, all three are very good. It's just really what you're doing. Most of the time I'd run frags. Sometimes you could run smoke depending on what you're doing. The next operator we have is Maverick. So Maverick has one of the best ARs in the game. So choose that one. And then obviously you have to choose the pistol. And for his secondary gadget, smokes are very good. Stuns are very good. Um, depending on what you're doing. Most of the time I would run stuns, but yeah. His attachments on his AR, extended barrel, vertical grip. Um, yeah. Uh, pistol, suppressor, laser, as always. Between stuns and smokes, smokes can be pretty good with Maverick because you can pair him with glass, smoke out the, the wall, then you start mavericking it and then glass aims in and people won't be uh, ready for that. But if, but if you're not going to be doing that, then most of the time I'd run stuns. The next operator we have is Nomad. Now, Nomad has two good ARs. Just in my opinion, this AK-47 has like some of the weirdest recoil in the game. It's like weird to control. Don't choose a sniper pistol, choose a normal pistol. And for a gadget, I swap back and forth, but most of the time I like to run stuns. For attachments on her AR, compensator, vertical grip, on her pistol, suppressor, laser. Like I said, most of the time I would run stuns to play aggressive with her. You can flush people out, you can, you know, stun a room, swing, whatever you want to do. And most of the time you don't get much benefit from breaching charges on nomad because you want to kind of stay back set up your flanks and do all that stuff so that's why i run stuns most of the time the ak-47 does have 40 bullets in it so that's the advantage you get out of that but the arx does kill faster the only downside to it is the actual capacity of 20 bullets i'd say try to use this if you think you're running out of bullets too much and you're dying because of it then switch to the ak-47 but it has in my opinion the arx has less recoil kills faster and 20 bullets is fine enough for me. But the next operator we have is Gridlock. Now Gridlock has an AR and an LMG. My opinion, I choose the AR because it kills faster and it has about the same recoil, but the LMG does have more bullets. So if you want to go with that, you can. The attachment for the LMG is a muzzle brake and horizontal grip. For the AR, it's extended barrel horizontal grip. Next, you want to choose the shotgun. Just make sure you have iron sight on because shotguns aim down sight faster and you don't really need a sight on a shotgun. So yeah. And the next thing is your secondary gadget. All of them are viable. If you want to help with the plant, then you could run smokes. If you want to help getting the wall open, run impact DMPs. If you want to destroy utility, run frag grenades. I most of the time run impact DMPs. The next operator we have is Nook. Now for Nook, you want to run the FMG9 with the um, extended barrel on. For her pistols, you want to run the Deagle and make sure you don't have suppressor on like I do for some reason. Um, Yeah, like I said before, this gun has too much recoil to put the suppressor on. If you want to put the suppressor on, go ahead, but I'm not. Next is nades, hard breaches, or impact DMPs. Most of the time, I would say either run these two but i'm gonna run nades most of the time just because you know you don't really want to help open up the wall that often with nook because then you don't get as much value from her ability but the next operator we have is amaru to be honest the shotgun is really good this is probably my favorite shotgun in the game but the ga is also really good for the attachments on the ga you want to do compensator horizontal grip for the shotgun suppressor and you could do a sight or you could do iron sight I'm just going to put Iron Sight on. For your secondary for Amaru, SMG or Gone 6 both work. But most of the time I would run SMG, especially if you have the shotgun on. Secondary gadget, uh, both of them are good. But if you want to open up a hatch, like let's say you repel in to second floor on cafe and you want to open up the freezer hatch, then there you go. Hard breach charges. 
if you're just going to be playing normally, then most of the time stun grenades. But the next operator we have is Kali. Now for Kali, obviously nothing for her main uh, sniper. Her secondary, I like to run the SPS. Some people like the C7, to be honest. Um, it doesn't really matter. This thing has a bad iron sight in my opinion, so I don't like running it. If you're going to be running the SPS, you want to run extended barrel. If you're going to be running this, make sure you run suppressor and laser. And then also make sure you're running claymores. The next operator we have is Ayana. Now Ayana does have two ARs and the G36 and the ARX. For the ARX, you want to run compensator vertical grip. For the G36, you want to run extended barrel vertical grip. The G36, in my opinion, the, the reason why I want the reason why I say you should pick ARX is because it does kill faster and also it has less recoil. So my opinion, you should run this. But if you think that 20 bullets is too low, then the G36 is fine. But you got to keep in mind the G36 is really hard to control because of the left and right recoil just bounces, um, which is like the hardest guns to control. So that's the reason why I run ARX. Secondary, you want to run Gone 6. And for your secondary gadget, I'd recommend Impact EMPs. The next operator we have is Ace. Now for Ace, AK-12, 100% of the time, one of the best guns in the game. You want to run Flash Hider Vertical Grip on the AK-12. For his pistol, suppressor, laser, like always, and for his secondary gadget, both work. Most of the time, I'd recommend Claymore just because, you know, you're a hard breacher. You might be getting ran out on in certain situations. But breaching charges are also just very good in general. So, you know, you might just want to choose those sometimes depending on what you're doing. The next operator we have is Zero. Now, Zero, you want to run extended barrel, vertical grip on the SC3000K. Some people will say to run the MP7. I don't think the MP7 is viable because the SC3000K is the fastest killing, one of the fastest killing guns in the game. In my opinion, it's the best AR in the game. It also has less recoil than the MP7. So most of the time I would say just run the AR, but if you are gonna run the MP7, make sure you're running extended barrel just to kill a lot faster. For a secondary, run Gone 6. For his secondary gadget, I'd recommend running Hard Breaches. It allows you to do a lot of plays with his Hard Breaches. It just works very well with him, so that's why I run Hard Breaches. The next operator we have is Flores. Now for Flores, he has two pretty good primaries. Now, in my opinion, I run the AR-33 because uh, this DMR is not that good to run it. And the AR-33 is all right. It doesn't have that much recoil. You know, it's just a pretty good gun. For the AR-33, you want to run compensator and vertical grip. You could you could run horizontal grip, but I'd just rather run vertical grip on this gun. For the SR-25, muzzle brake, horizontal grip. And for secondary gadgets, um, claymores are very good because you're going to be on a drone most of the time. So people might try to run out on you. But I really like stun grenades for him. I don't know why. Most the time i use him i'm playing more aggressive so that's why i like to run stun grenades but the next operator we have is osa now osa has two like pretty good guns but in my opinion you should be running the 556 just because it has 47 damage which is going to three shot most operators for the 556 you want to run compensator vertical grip for the pdw you want to run extended barrel vertical grip the advantage to the pdw is it has 50 bullets and it has uh, kind of less recoil they're kind of the same recoil to be honest so if you want more bullets then run the pdw but i think that the 556 has too much damage to really not run it for a secondary gadget i'd say run impact emp just because osa is very good for opening up the wall get the wall open and then you just put your shield down and play it behind your shield but both of these are also viable you can do some strats where you break the osa shield like hit it and then put the claymore behind it or you could just run frags because it's it's frags but i say run the impact dmps now the next operator we have is sense now sense has an ar and a dmr now the dmr is obviously my favorite dmr like i said the 417 so i run the dmr but if you're going to run the DMR, muzzle brake horizontal grip, as always. If you're going to run his AR, I run extended barrel vertical grip. But this is one of the guns where I probably wouldn't even recommend extended barrel. I'd most of the time recommend flash hider or compensator. That's why I don't think you should be running this gun because it kills slow and it has high recoil. So there's no reason to run this gun, in my opinion, over the 417. Secondary gadgets, um, in my opinion, since you should be running the frag grenades it just plays in with his ability a lot better than the other two so yeah the next operator we have is grim now for grim you want to run the 552 commando and for the 552 commando extended barrel vertical grip his pistol the bailiff because the bailiff is just better than a normal pistol you can open up lines of sight with it it's pretty good for killing people so yeah for his secondary gadget all three are very good Depending on what you're doing, you know, choose which one. If you want to hope, if you want to help open up the wall, impact the MPs. But most of the time, I'll be running claymores. But the next operator we have is Brava. Now for Brava, she has two good primary weapons. Cam RS, like I said, is one of the is probably the second best DMR in the game. And like I said before, the Para is one of the best ARs in the game because it can two shot three speeds. So I run the Para because I like 
AR is better. And if you're going to run the para extended barrel vertical grip, if you're going to run the DMR muzzle brake horizontal grip for her shotgun, secondary shotgun, make sure you have iron sights on. And for her secondary gadget, to be honest, 50 50 because claymores, you're, you know, you're going to be on your drone a lot with Brava. So having a claymore could be useful, but smokes are very good. So I, you know, whatever you're going to be doing. The next operator we have is Ram. Now for Ram, both of our guns are good, but the R4C is just, you, you shouldn't be running the LMG, to be honest. R4C kills faster. It has less recoil. So in my opinion, run the R4C extended barrel vertical grip. For a secondary, run the shotgun and make sure you have iron sights on. For a secondary gadget, both are good, but I feel like most of the time you should be playing more aggressive with um, RAM. So I run stuns, but smoke darts are very good. The next operator we have is Deimos, and this is the last attacking operator. And this one's kind of a weird one because he has a really weird loadout. The AK-47M is my one of my least favorite guns just because the recoil on it is kind of weird. It kind of bounces left and right, it kind of goes in a circle, to be honest. So I don't like controlling the recoil on it. This is the only time in the entire game where I'll run shotgun. But mo actually, to be honest, I don't run the shotgun all the time. If I know I'm going to be getting into close range gunfights, then I can run the shotgun because you always have the 44 Vendetta, which is a pretty good gun that you can use for longer ranges. But if you're going to use the shotgun, make sure you have iron sight on. If you're going to use the AK-47, make sure you have compensator on. For secondary gadgets, I'd recommend running frag grenades because you can shoot out the floor below with the shotgun or the vendetta, and then you can throw a nade. And it's basically like old nading below, but a lot worse. So that's why I recommend running frag grenades over anything. And that is the last attacker. So let's move on to the defenders. And the first defender we have is smoke. Now for smoke, you want to run the shotgun so you can actually set up the sight, you know, do sight setups for your team. And you want to make sure you're running iron sight on that, on any shotgun, so you can aim down sight faster. For a secondary, don't run the pistol, run the SMG 11, one of the fastest killing guns in the game. Make sure you're running flash hide or vertical grip. You could run extended barrel, but there's really no point in my opinion. It already kills so fast. Next is your barbed wire versus your proximity alarm. Most of the time I would choose barbed wire, but there are certain situations where proximity alarm is better. So that's yeah. But the next operator we have is mute. Now for mute is the same exact loadout pretty much except for he has a C4. So for your primary weapon, choose the shotgun, make sure you have iron sights on secondary SMG 11 flash hide or vertical grip and secondary definitely choose the nitro cell 99% of the time. Next operator we have is castle. Now for castle, you want to run the UMP. You could run the shotgun because the UMP is a very slow killing gun because it shoots so slow, but it does have no recoil. So you can get some pretty free headshots with it. And if you're going to run the UMP, you want to run extended barrel horizontal grip for the shotgun, obviously iron sight and lasers. But most of the time I'd recommend running the UMP. Your secondary, you want to run the shotgun so you can set up sight with it. Make sure you're running iron sight on that. And for your secondary gadget, both are pretty good. I just think proximity alarm is a little bit better for, you know, ranked in general, because, you know, usually you're not in a five stack most of the time for me. So I like to run the proximity alarm, but bulletproof cameras also aren't that great on console because you can't really EMP abilities with it because the sensitivity is so high. So most of the time I like to run proximity alarms. The next operator we have is pulse. Now pulse is kind of weird because he has pretty much the same loadout as castle, but for pulse, I like to run the shotgun most of the time now because he doesn't have a ACOG like castle does. And also you can shotgun people below with pulse when you scan them on your heartbeat center. So most of the time I run the shotgun, but it's kind of, but I did used to run the SMG when I had a ACOG, but you know, now I run the shotgun, but for the shotgun, iron sight laser for the SMG extended barrel horizontal grip. The next is your secondary. I just choose the more damaging secondary for your secondary gadget. Always choose a C4. You can make a lot of plays with the heartbeat sensor and then go below. And yeah, you know, with pulse. The next operator is doc. Me, I'm the MP5 type of player. You want to run extended barrel horizontal grip for the MP5 for a shotgun iron sight vertical grip for the p90 you want to run extended barrel and make sure you're running ecog but i would recommend running the mp5 for the secondary weapon you want to run the bailiff because you can set up sight you can make head holes foot holes with this so this is a pretty good useful gun to have as a secondary for a secondary gadget both are viable once again but most of the time i'd like to run barbed wire just because like i said bulletproof cameras are hard to use on console but they do give you good information though so if you're wanting that then you could go for that but barbed wire help with you with sound cues and they slow down the enemy so there you go. Now the next operator we have is Rook. He has a very similar loadout to Doc. For once again, I like to run the MP5 because it kills faster. And extended barrel horizontal grip. For the um, P90, make sure you're running ACOG and make sure you're running extended barrel. Make sure you're running iron sight on the shotgun. And then for the secondary weapon, 
Um, I go with the P9, like I always do, versus a revolver. P9 is better in my opinion. Secondary gadget, you want to go with impacts because impacts are very useful. They did get nerfed recently, but they're still going to be very useful to set up the site and just in general. So that's why I think impacts are better. But the next operator we have is Capcan. Now for Capcan, you have the sausage and the 9x19. I choose the 9x19 and for the attachments for this you want to run extended barrel horizontal grip. For the sausage you want to run iron sight and suppressor and vertical grip. This gun some people you know use it. I've met a lot of people that do use it but I don't think it's worth it because ARs are just better most of the time and yeah I think that you should be using the 9x19 even though it only, only has a 1x it's still pretty good. Secondary weapon I choose the PMM it does more damage. Secondary gadget C4. C4 is the best secondary gadget on defenders so I just like running it and go for C4 it blows a lot a lot of different things you can do with it. Tachanka. Now Tachanka has a pretty weird loadout because he has a 60 damage um light machine gun and he also has a 9x19 with an ACOG. So I think that his gun is pretty much his ability because of how fast you can set up sight with it. It's super high caliber and has high destructive capability with it. And if you're gonna be running this gun, it only has one attachment, so you choose whatever sight. If you want to run the 9x19, extend a barrel horizontal grip and make sure you have ACOG on. But like I said, I would most of the time run DP27 just because it can set up the sight so fast and plus it does 60 damage which is going to two shot some operators and you know three shot all operators so yeah the secondary weapon run you want to run bearing nine because it's the bearing nine it kills really fast um it does have decent recoil so i like to run flash hider for your secondary gadget you want to run shield in my opinion because you can shoot your ability you know your fire like over your shield and just basically play it like old smoke you pretty much do the same thing it's just the chunk's ability is much worse than smokes but you still can kind of get the same job done but the next operator we have is jaeger now, Jaeger, I like to choose the 416. It's kind of been nerfed a lot with the recoil, you know, and stuff, but it's still like 42 damage on defense, which is pretty good. For his 416, you want an extended barrel, vertical grip. And like I said, this is the gun I would choose. But if you're going to be using the shotgun, it does high damage. It like one shots if you're close to them, but it doesn't have very much range. Make sure you're running iron sight on that if you do want to run that. Certain situations, you could run that, but most of the time, I'd recommend the AR. For a secondary gadget, I would most of the time recommend bulletproof camera just for the information observation blockers are probably the worst secondary gadget on defense only sp very specific situations would i run these but most of the time i would recommend bulletproof camera the next operator we have is bandit now for bandit he has a similar situation he has a really good gun and then he has the shotgun 99% of the time, I'd recommend running the MP7. And this is one of the guns that has a really good iron sight on it. Same thing for the ARX. They have the same exact iron sight, but this is for more viable in my opinion because it doesn't have an ACOG on it. So you can run the iron sight to get more ADS speed on the MP7 and then also extend a barrel just to do more damage. So that's what I would run on the MP7 and I would recommend running the MP7. For a secondary gadget, you want to run C4. Best secondary gadget for defenders. So just run C4. The next operator we have is Frost. Now for Frost, she has the Super 90 and then 9mm C1, right? So the C1 is a very like slow killing, slow shooting gun, but it has absolutely zero recoil. So that's why I like to use that. Also has an ACOG on it. So yeah, but the Super 90 is all right, I guess. It's really fast shooting uh, shotgun. So if you want to run that, you could. But for the C9, you want to run extended barrel, horizontal grip. Just make sure you run. Just make sure you're running iron sight if you want to use this. And then secondary shotgun, always pick that. You can set up sight. Make sure you're running iron sight. Secondary gadget. Um, both are pretty good, but I definitely would recommend shield most of the time, but there's certain situations where you could run bulletproof camera. Next operator we have is Valkyrie. Now for Valkyrie, she has the spaz and the MPX. I'm not a shotgun player, like I said before, but I do recommend running this, the MPX. And if you're going to run the MPX, you want to run extended barrel and horizontal grip. It's not the best gun in the game, but it's all right. It has no recoil. So yeah, for the Deagle, make sure you're running muzzle brake on it. Like always for your secondary gadget, C4, you can get C4 below kills with Valkyrie. Um, just very good. So C4. Now the next operator is Caviera. So for Caviera, she has a shotgun and an AR. This is one of the only situations where I could definitely see you running the shotgun because I meant to say submachine gun. This SMG is really bad. It's the worst one in the game, in my opinion. It does pretty good damage for an SMG, but it shoots so slow that it's the slowest killing one. So that's why I would say run the spaz for most people, but I still kind of, I still run the SMG just because most of the time you're going to be using your pistol anyways. I don't really like shotguns, so that's why I think, that, that's why I run the SMG. But I'd say most people should probably run this just because it's all right. And this gun is just really bad. So make sure you're running iron sights if you're going to run that. If you're going to run the M12, make sure you're running extended barrel. For her pistol, just make sure you're running laser. 
Um, for your secondary gadget, most of the time I would recommend impact so you can make quick rotates, quickly drop down hatches, do whatever you need to do with Caviera. The next operator we have is Echo. Now for Echo, I most of the time I actually would recommend running the shotgun just because it's a very good shotgun, probably my favorite shotgun in the game. And, and on top of that, his MP5 doesn't have an ACOG. So it's, you know, kind of not one of the best guns in the game already and then it doesn't have an ACOG on top of that so I would just recommend running the shotgun because also your secondary weapon is the bearing nine the bearing nine is a very good gun kills really fast so yeah make sure running flash hider his secondary gadget he has a shield and an impact most of the time I would recommend running impacts just because they're very useful but if you have a specific strat you want to do or you want to give your teammate a shield then you could go shield the next operator we have is Mira now for Mira, you want to run the Vector, Secondary Shotgun, and then the C4. And for her attachments onto her Vector, Compensator, Vertical Grip, test it out. That's the best ones. Obviously, Iron Sight on the Secondary Shotgun, its C4 is just very valuable to have. The next operator we have is Lesion. Now for Lesion, you want to run the T5 SMG Extended Barrel Horizontal Grip. His secondary weapon, make sure you're running the Secondary Shotgun. And between the secondary gadgets, I'd recommend Bulletproof Camera most of the time. The next operator we have is Ella. Now, Ella's kind of weird because she has an SMG, but it has so much weird. It has a, probably the worst recoil in the game because it just bounces all over the place. It's really weird to control, but it does shoot really fast. So you can get a lot of easy headshots with it. And to be honest, a lot of lucky headshots with it. But her shotgun is kind of also a weird weapon because it's a really fast shooting shotgun with like not a lot of range to it and high recoil. So to be honest, I'd recommend just testing. If you want to run Ella, then test out each gun. And if you're really bad at controlling recoil with this one, then just switch to the shotgun. But for her SMG, you want to run compensator vertical grip for her shotgun, obviously iron sight, extended barrel, and vertical grip. For a secondary gadget, it's either barbed wire or shield. For her, barbed wire kind of makes sense because, you know, you can get them caught in a trap. You know, they're in barbed wire, it makes it for a free kill most of the time. Deployable shield is also just very good. So if you're, you know, have a specific shot you want to do or you want to help out your teammate, then there you go. You can run the shield. The next operator we have is Vigil. Now for Vigil, I would recommend running his AR because, you know, it's a, it's a decent gun extend barrel horizontal grip but the boss g in my opinion is not good but some people do like to run this gun you know you can have a one shot and gun most of the time but in my opinion this gun is just really hard to use and there's no reason to use it if you are going to use it make sure you're running horizontal grip and the laser most of the time when you're shooting a boss g the recoil doesn't even matter because it has so much recoil so when you have the horizontal grip on it just makes you be able to run faster but i would recommend running the ar just because most of the time you're using the smg 12 anyways as your primary in my opinion then you can just use this to like finish downs or whatever but yeah secondary weapon make sure you're running smg 12 and your secondary gadget you want to run impacts for maestro you want to run the alda the bailiff and the impacts um for the alda Make sure you're running compensator and vertical grip. You could run the ACS-12 because it is a two-shot gun, but the ACS-12, the Alda is one of the best guns in the game. It's probably the best LMG in the game, in my opinion. It, the only thing is, is it has a 1X. So if you want the ACOG, then run the uh, ACS-12. In my opinion, you should be running the Alda just because it has 80 bullets in it and it's really fast killing, low recoil gun. For a secondary weapon, obviously Bailiff because you can set up the sight with it and impacts are just overall good. So that's why I say run impacts. The next operator we have is Alibi. Now Alibi has an SMG and the ACS-12, but the SMG is not that good. It's kind of slow killing. So I would recommend running the ACS-12 on Alibi. And if you're going to run the ACS-12 vertical grip, make sure you put the ACOG on for the SMG, um, whatever site you wanted to run extended barrel vertical grip secondary weapon bailiff set up the site you know just in general just good secondary gadget i recommend proximity alarm now the next operator we have is clash and she has a really weird loadout for most of the time i'd recommend running the sps it's an smg so uh it's better than having a super shorty or uh, pistol as your primaries so i'd recommend running the sps for her secondary gadget to be honest um either impacts or shields if you want to help your team with the shield then you can but impacts work out most of the time in my opinion now the next operator we have is Cade, and for Cade, he has an smg and a shotgun but the shotgun is pretty much a dmr so if you like dmrs and you want the acog run the shotgun but if you just want to run an smg um, and you don't like dmrs then run the smg for the smg you want to run extended barrel vertical grip for his shotgun you want to run suppressor and vertical grip his secondaries run the uh, revolver 
uh, don't run this sniper pistol unless you're, you just want to troll or whatever, but secondary gadget, C4. Next operator we have is Mozzie. Now, Mozzie has recently been changed. He didn't have an ACOG when the season came out, so, so you do want to run the Commando 9. It kills faster, has more bullets, has about the same recoil, so yeah. For the Commando, make sure you're running extended barrel horizontal grip. If you want to run the P10 Ronnie, extended barrel horizontal grip. For a secondary gadget, make sure you're running C4. Now, the next operator we have is Warden, and so for Warden, he has a shotgun and an SMG as his primaries. I'd recommend running a shotgun just because it's a good shotgun. Uh, make sure you're running iron sights on that. And then the secondary SMG 12, a uh, really fast killing gun, 32 bullets in it. Just a good gun. For a secondary gadget, you could run C4 or the shield. Um, if you're trying to do a certain strat, then you could run the shield. If you're trying to just play generally with Warden, then C4 is better. The next operator we have is Goyo. Now for Goyo, he has the same shotgun as Cade, but he also has the Vector. They both have an ACOG, so I would recommend running the Vector. Vector does have a lot of recoil, especially with a ACOG on it. If you don't like the recoil on the Vector, then you can run the Shotgun. But for the Vector, you want to run Compensator Vertical Grip. For the Shotgun, you want to run Suppressor Vertical Grip. Make sure you have ACOG on. For a secondary gadget, I would recommend Impact Grenades. The next operator we have is Wamai. Now for Wamai, if you like 1Xs, then the... um. The AUG is better, but if you like ACOGs, then the MP5 is better because it does have an ACOG. For this gun, you want to run an extended barrel on it. Has no recoil. Secondary weapon, you want to run the Keratos. Probably the best pistol in the game. Uh, 78 damage, low recoil, so yeah. Secondary gadget, you want to run impact grenades. Just generally good. The next operator we have is Oryx. Now for Oryx, you want to run the T5, in my opinion. It does have a 1X, but you also have the secondary bailiff, so you don't really need a shotgun most of the time. So for the T5, extended barrel, horizontal grip. Obviously, secondary weapon, bailiff. And then for your gadget, proximity alarms are better, in my opinion, just for Oryx, because you're going to be running around doing a lot of stuff. So you can't really wait for the sound cue with the barbed wire, but barbed wire is just generally good. So if you want to run that, you could. The next operator we have is Malusi, um, one of the most picked operators in the game right now. For her, you want to run the MP5 extended barrel horizontal grip. For a secondary gadget, most of the time I would recommend impacts just for rotates and general use. The next operator we have is Aruni. Now Aruni has the P10 Rani, which I wouldn't recommend using. I did used to use this, but now I've gotten better with DMR, so I recommend using the DMR. If you're going to run the P10 Ronnie, make sure you have extended barrel horizontal grip on. For the DMR, muzzle brake horizontal grip. This DMR is not the best thing in the game, but it gets the job done. For a secondary gadget, it's the same thing, barbed wire versus bulletproof. Most of the time, I would recommend barbed wire, but if you're going to try to do something specific, then you could run bulletproof. Now, the next operator we have is Thunderbird. For Thunderbird, she has the Spaz and the Spear. Now, I would recommend running the Spear just because it doesn't have that much recoil, 42 damage on defense, it still kills pretty quick, and you know, it's just a generally good AR on defense. Now, for the Spear, I would recommend running Flash Hide or Vertical Grip, but you also could run Extended Barrel if you want, but I just don't think it's worth it. This gun does, this gun does have a lot of recoil, but also you gotta remember the Extended Barrel brings out to 47 damage, which is going to three shot all operators, so, in my opinion, I would just recommend running Flash Hider, but Extended Barrel is also pretty good. For the Spaz, make sure you have Iron Sights on. Um, not that great of a shotgun, but it's alright if you don't want to run the Spear for the 1X, but yeah. Secondary weapon, we have the Bearing 9. Flash Hider, as always. Um, it's better than the pistol. Secondary gadget, you have Shield, Barbed Wire, and Bulletproof. So it's really whatever you're doing. All are kind of even, to be honest. But a lot of times, I end up running Barbed Wire with her, but Shield is also very good. Same with the Bulletproof Camera. The next operator we have is Thorn. Now for Thorn, she has the M870 and the um, SMG. So the SMG doesn't have a doesn't have an ACOG on it, but this also isn't the greatest shotgun ever. So really test it out. I think most of the time people would run the SMG. If you're running the SMG, extended bear vertical grip, and then the secondary run the C75 auto. It's an automatic pistol, so it's going to be better than the normal pistol, but it's still not that great. Secondary gadget. Um, a lot of times I would recommend running shield, but you could run barbed wire if you want to put a trap near the barbed wire and, you know, make a play off of that. But most of the time I'd recommend shield. The next operator we have is Azami. Now for Azami, she has the ACS-12 and the 9x19. ACS-12 has an ACOG, 9x19 doesn't. So if you want to run the ACOG, then for the ACS-12 vertical grip, make sure that's on and make sure the ACOG's on. For the 9x19, extended barrel, horizontal grip. As always, I like running the 9x19 just because I just don't like this gun that much, but you know, you could do whatever you want to do. Secondary weapon, um, muzzle break on the Deagle. For her ga secondary gadget, you want to run impacts, generally good to have. The next operator we have is Solus. Now for Solus, she has a shotgun SMG-12. So most of the time you would run that, but in my opinion, you should run the P90. It has no recoil. It is a very slow killing gun, 
So I get why you would run the shotgun, but I like to run the P90. Extended barrel on the P90, and for the shotgun, make sure you have iron sights on. SMG12, make sure you have flash hide or vertical grip. Uh, no reason to run extended barrel. For a secondary gadget, I would recommend impacts. The next operator we have is Fenrir. For Fenrir, he has the MP7 and the sausage. S MP7 is one of the best guns in the game, the best SMG in my opinion. Um, in my opinion, you should run iron sights because, you know, helps your ADS faster extended barrel for more damage and you also got to keep in mind the iron sight on the fp7 is probably the best one it is the best one in the game in my opinion so that's why you know just helps the timed ads so might as well run it secondary make sure you're running bailiff help set up the site and do stuff like that for his secondary gadget it's barbed wire versus bulletproof said this like five times depending on what you're trying to do most of the time i recommend barbed wire for him because it can pair with his ability pretty well but you know, if you want to run bulletproof, then you can. And the last operator we have is Tuberal. Now, Tuberal has an MP7, I mean, MPX, and an AR-15 DMR. This DMR is all right. It has high damage, so I would recommend running the DMR most of the time. Make sure you have muzzle brake horizontal grip on the MPX extended barrel horizontal grip. So most of the time, I'd recommend running the DMR. It does a lot of damage, has an ACOG. But this gun also has no recoil. And if you don't like DMRs, then you could go with this. For a secondary gadget, make sure you're running C4. And yeah, that's the last operator. If you feel you improved from this video or you enjoyed the video, consider liking and subscribing. And if you wanna watch more of my content, then click the video popping up on your screen.